and uh, we are now moving to early campaigns. I think you know many of that, of those uh, disguised as fundraisers, uh, wedding launches, birthdays, thanksgivings, consultation meetings, and also prayers of thanksgiving is what political analysts are calling this new wave of mobilization in political arena. They warn that this show of power, influence, and credence will earn good political mileage, but might easily be misinterpreted. A move that started as a birthday party for first son Moz Kenegawa has since taken a different outfit. While many in the political arena have picked on the birthday turned into a movement slash group with a political inclination, and so was the birth of members of parliament fundraising prayers for the opposition on consultative meetings. Now, as we speak, thanksgiving for ministerial appointments. <laughs> Political analyst Gerald Kalija says these are early campaigns on nothing else. As long as they have any activity that can be disguised, not to be um, sanctioned by the law, they'll take advantage of it. And it is never too early for them to campaign. So whoever is involved in those activities, it's a clear sign that they want to be on the ballot. Kaleja adds that because politics has become too lucrative, political pressure on the ground and in the political corridors is immense. For those that are uh, competing with or against you, you want to, sh it's a show of power, a show of uh, strength, a show of influence. One, by the mo number of people that you mobilize, but also the caliber of the guests that you bring, and also what they are likely to do. They, you can preside over, for example, a fundraising event, and then they contribute much more money than you would have done alone. It gives high political value, these such events, which appear innocent. Mm. And deep in the hearts of most of these politicians, it's actually campaign strategy. But another political commentator, Yusuf Sorenkuma, argues different. Under any system, it is normal to organize and mobilize and put together, assemble. As soon as the elect electoral process is completed, political parties ought to return to the communities to mobilize, to organize, to build their ideologies with the communities. So the only difference is that they're not doing that. We're still staying on matters. Elections are now moving over to the opposition and uh, we will stay with the opposition's national unity platform that has launched a nation nationwide membership registration drive ahead of the internal party structure formation roadmap. The drive uh, is uh, and was launched by the party president Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu who cautioned party registers to stay away from fighting each other, bribery and to withstand intimidation and violence. The exercise is set to kick off on the first day of May and will end on the 35, 31st of May 2024. The launch of the National Unity Platform nationwide registration campaign has attracted holds of NUP supporters, sub-regional coordinators, mayors, members of parliament and registrars. <laughs> While addressing the task, registrars Chagulani Sentamu, the party president, advised them to resist corruption and fight for a revolution. And now that are tasking you out there officially. Be true to the pain of the people, to the trust of the people. Trust is the most important thing that you have as a leader. Chaglany added that it's high time party members learned from the history of the past political parties and avoid invites. When we go out there, we have a duty. Even if you, your individual self, you're not winning for yourself. You're winning for the people of Uganda and for your party. The leader of opposition in parliament, Joel Senyonyi, cautioned security not to antagonize their lawful exercise. Please don't operate beyond your reach. Operate within the law. We are a recognized legal entity in this country, a fully registered political party with the right to operate. So if anything, you should be providing security to these leaders as opposed to going out to antagonize them. Uh, Victoria Bagai joins us tonight. Victoria, is it becoming uh, the order of the day that those who plan to run for political office have to begin way ahead of time? 
Politics has become so lucrative for those who can ascend positions of power in terms of privilege, opportunity, and position. And so the desire and appetite has increased, especially within the arena where one can easily ascend and their life changes drastically. Elections are just uh, 